Um, so I'm going to open by saying a few remarks about the legacy of New Labour and then um, talk a bit about the lessons for the Labour Party today. Um, most of that will be through the lens of policy. That's what we do at IPPR. But I'll also say something about uh, governing and how New Labour governed and how, how Labour should think about governing. And also a brief remark about the politics of it as well. So first of all, on New Labour's legacy, um, uh, as you'll see in a second, you know there are there are significant areas where I, I think um, New Labour fell short and missed, and there was a missed opportunity. Um, but I wanted to start by saying that I I don't fall into the camp of those who say it was an extension of of conservatism and of, and of Thatcherism. Um, we, we all kind of said where we were in 1997. I was five years old, so I, I beat you. Uh, so I'm um, born in 1992, technically a child of major, but obviously most of my childhood was under a, a, a Labour government. Um, and I can say firsthand that that, has, that, that made a huge difference, that, the, that there was substantial change for, for millions of people in this country. You know, I went to better resource schools. We had um, uh, higher quality healthcare, uh, lower poverty, um, safer communities. Um, as a as a gay man, you know my opportunities um, are, are have been much wider and um, discrimination a lot less. So uh, I think you know we have to recognise the genuine transformation that happened in British society over those thirteen years uh, of a Labour government. But at the same time, it would be very odd to stand here today um, and and say that it was a fundamental long-term transformation when so many of the achievements of that Labour government have been washed away. Inequalities up, poverty's up, waiting times up, attainment gap up. Um, all of these uh, areas on which Labour wanted to be measured, uh, that you know their success, they wanted to be measured, um, have been undone. Uh, and, and therefore, uh, there is a, a real burning question which is why was it so easy for uh, partly a financial crisis, but also uh, 10 years of conservative led government to undo those achievements? Why was it not a Attlee moment or a Thatcher moment um, in terms of a fundamental transformation? And I think there are three parts to that. The first is on policy. Um, clearly New Labour put um, their emphasis in terms of the domestic agenda on a combination of investment in human capital um, and then also redistribution and that's how they sought to achieve the, those achievements that I talked about um, and very successfully during the 13 years um, but they left quite a lot of economic fundamental economic policy off the table the lesson they took from um, Neil Kinnock's defeat was that they need to be cautious on the economy both um, as an electoral strategy but also in how they governed, and that distinction I think is really important. I think they were probably right on the electoral strategy, but I think they were wrong on uh, on the governance strategy. And the reason is if you look at someone like Thatcher, who campaigned and and uh, as leadership as a fairly kind of centrist Tory, but governed as a radical and led public opinion, shifted public opinion, and used that to um, deeply change the institutions of British society in a way that. New Labour on too many issues. On some issues they have, but on too many issues they didn't, and that made it too easy um, for for Conservatives to to undo some of those so those big achievements. So, as IPPR, we published something called the Commission on Economic Justice a few years ago. We argued that any future progressive uh, politics, uh, any politics that wants to deal with the fundamental challenges we face in society, we need um, a much more uh, we need a new economic consensus that uses muscular industrial policy, regulation, tax, that shifts institutions to create a fairer uh, and more prosperous society. So that's lesson one for, for Labour. Second on governance, um, or governing, I should say. Um, Labour failed um, to lock in too many of its policies. Um, and, the, and if you look at, uh, you can look at the distinction between tax credits and minimum wage to, to understand why. So on the minimum wage, uh, they openly championed the cause for the minimum wage. Um, they, they embedded it in institutions, the Low Pay Commission, and they shifted uh, the consensus to the to extent that conservatives now compete on the minimum wage. On tax credits, they actively talked down welfare. 
they contributed to a shift in the wrong direction on public opinion on welfare and they failed to institutionalize that change and it was it, all it took was a, a conservative chancellor to undo uh, that progress so uh, the second thing my second bit of advice to labor is to take governing seriously take how you're going to govern and trying to lock in change even in even thinking about it in opposition really seriously and finally in my last few seconds just on politics of this obviously one of the biggest successes of new labor was uniting this very broad coalition of voters as we heard from tim tim Bale earlier uh, the challenge was that they failed to build on that and, and and grow that coalition or at least maintain it so they lost five million votes between 1997 and 2010 new labor lost five million votes many people dropped out of the the electorate altogether stopped voting um, and uh, and then over time have turned to uh, right essentially ver versions of right-wing populism or, or indeed the conservative party via brexit um, and that's the challenge that labor is now trying to correct is how to unify not the same coalition because the, the 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 voting uh, demographics and the the, the the class system in the uk has shifted radically but to unite a very diverse coalition and the way to do that uh, I don't have the full answer, but you cannot do it on, we can't do it whilst culture is, is king. Labour has to unite um, those groups on the issue of economic and social justice, on providing a better shared future and being able to represent the interests of a majority in this country in a way that uh, right-wing uh, governments, populism can't. Um, and so the final, final advice to Labour is, you know, how do we take things like the cost of living crisis, which is obviously a tragedy for so many families, but that has to be uh, an electoral opportunity to shift the, the 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 focus of politics onto that the the economic interests that unite um, a, a significant majority in the country.